Shalom, everybody. Uh, good morning or late at all, uh, late at night, good night, um, wherever you're at. Today, I'm going I'm, to I'm put out uh, several uh, video teachings. Um, I kind of want to go over um, the arrangement of things, um, starting with uh, one of the things is I want to study the word to bar today, the word for word. Um, also, I want to teach on a little bit of the uh, the word all main, which is the Hebrew word faith. Um, I want to show how faith made things arranged and, and brought things to be and, and how the Debar was spoken. But uh, everything starts right up here. Everything starts up in the mind. Um, I'll probably do a little teaching on the, the mind, the concept um, of how faith uh, evolved to exist into the Debar um, to make things the spoken language, but it was revealed as a visual language. Because if we can't see our future, we ain't going to get nowhere. And if we can't see the, the Hebrew Aleph bait for the visual picture language for what it is, we're going to get stuck. Um, the whole concept of this is, is to get closer to Yahusha. Um, if he, to, to get ourselves and make arrangements within ourself to, to understand what he did, what he's doing and what he's going to do. These are uh, past, present and future contexts, but in Yahusha's mind, all these have already took place and all these have already been done. Uh, so if you're wondering what's really going on inside my mind, my head is, is <laughs> I don't really know. I just wake up every day and you know, she goes with me separately because he's, he's arranging certain things over and in a certain order that, that maybe I don't even understand why I'm studying this one day. And I feel like I'm jumping around and going to there one day, but, but he knows what he's doing because we look at the Aleph bait and just like our alphabet in English, we think it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, D, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And we see, we see that arrangement. But when it comes to, to understanding uh, the arrangement of words, they're mixed up and scrambled. And so that's how the Amet and the Almain and the word in the name Yahusha it's, it's the arrangements. It's the arrangements of these things. So there's really no, there's really no chronicle order. I know that doesn't make sense if you're looking from A to Z or from all of the tall. Um, but we can't look at it that way because each and individual picture in the language in the letter, it's, it has the same power from the olive to the tall. In being in a the visual spoken language, having the same power, we always think that that Yahushua's uh, one power is greater than his other power and his promises. You see, I don't I don't really use so much to say the word gifts, because if we get into gifts, then we say that one's greater and one higher, and 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 I want to I want to get our minds off that concept that one's not greater than the other. You see, it didn't take no more uh, of the promise of the spoken to bar to make everything exist than it, hit, than it did for him to think about it. Um, we live in a world where, where it's, it's muscles and power and uh, one car goes faster than another car, so it's more powerful. Well, in Yahushua's mind, there, there is no existence of, of that kind of power. It's um, because he is the power. You see, there's not one piece or one part of him that is any lesser than another. Whether if he planned it, whether if he spoke it, whether if he took a beating, you know, we think, oh, well, 
beatings hurt. And I remember being a kid and I'd get whooped. And one whooping hurt more than the other. But in Yahushua's mind, it was all the same to him. And that's a hard, that's a hard concept to grasp. Um, and I think that too many people are so used to this world that we, we, we try to make too much of this, too much of that. We try to balance and, and put things on scales and, and weigh everything out. Um, and we don't need to do that, really. Not not when we we come to the debar and the understanding of everything. Um, we don't need to perceive that, that he does any more with one person than he does another, or that it's harder for one person to understand than it does another. Um, if, if anything's out of balance in, in all the uh, arrangements, it's, we are. Um, so I'm just waking up. I didn't have my all my coffee this morning, but uh, I'm gonna just say that I'm gonna put out a few teachings today. Um, and I woke up this morning and I was thinking about uh, Tuda Yahua. She's um, she's very very Barack and blessed. She's she's um, she's coming in this picture language. I've been watching her for a while and I've been trying to get closer to her um, guiding and, and teaching her how to use the arrangements of things and, and, and how to do things and, and be a good olive bait uh, learner. But she stepped up and went beyond that. She's, she's now starting to teach these things and I didn't, I didn't see that happening. Uh, so fast and, 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 and quick. This is some of the things that, that, that she, she's doing that, um, because it's, it was arranged by Yahusha. So I made her moderator in the group. Um, I'm going to take in, I'm personally taking her under my wing and even though she's under Yahushua's wing, uh, as I am, uh, I want to sometimes show and teach how I study, that how he reveals and shows things to me, because he's going to do the thing, same things uh, with you, Tuda. So, um, my thing is, is I keep a lot of different uh, teachings in this group than what you're probably used to. Um, I want you to look at this example. You didn't see yourself teaching the ancient picture language, the bar, until it happened. And it's the same thing that happens with this creation Shabbat. Tuda, whether if you understand this creation Shabbat right now, I want you to really listen to me. You didn't understand all of fake picture language either. And there's time, of, there's time it is, is coming that this ancient picture language Debar is going to be revealed to you, this ancient picture language. So if you don't agree with the Shabbat, at least I know right now, you're agreeing with the ancient picture language. You see, Tuda, I'm saying this because it's coming your direction. You can't get away from it if you're studying in the picture language because this is what it's going to lead you to. Um, I'm just, just, just putting some stuff out there that... Um, I want you aware of and be looking for. And when all these dots connect, it'll you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so if you're a moderator right now, uh, you can post anything except Friday night <laughs> and Saturday Shabbats <laughs> and no G names and no J names. It doesn't matter if somebody wants to post something, no matter how good it sounds or seems, if there's any of those, do not approve them. And don't feel bad <laughs> that you didn't approve it. If if you don't want to approve it, 
and and throw it out, you leave it right there and I'll come back behind you and I'll take care of it myself. I don't want you feeling bad for anything. I really want you just to focus, okay? You don't have, I mean, you can invite anybody you want to to this group, anybody. It doesn't matter. Everybody needs the truth. But if you don't feel like it, it hurts your feelings that if, 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 if you deleted somebody's post before it was approved so they, they, they couldn't be posted, you just leave it right there. And I'll, I'll, I usually take care of most of everything and all the decisions in this group, they, they come pretty much through me. Um, uh, now I, I, I'm open to understand that, that I've given the responsibility of what I'm carrying that Yahusha expects from me to others. And I'm not afraid of other people's decisions. Okay. So don't get, don't think that you're going to be really doing things wrong and, and what I'm thinking and stuff, because in reality, you fix it be teaching me. So with that being said, I, I want whatever Yahushua is going to reveal from you. But right now, I just really want you to focus that, uh, I mean, you're not even 18 yet. <laughs> That's, you're a, you're a child. You're a child of Yahushua. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm 45 and I'm a child of Yahushua, but seeing you at such a young age come in and do this, Tuda, is, <laughs> but in this long time, I, I've, I've seen thousands, okay? Literally thousands and thousands and thousands come through. This ain't your picture language. And majority of everybody says this is neat or this is cool and they don't go no further than that so with what i'm really saying to this just focus on teaching the dwar the ancient picture language okay i want you comfortable i want you relaxed don't don't think about me over here and you're you're trying to uh, uh, appease me um because you and I, we're both working in the same field. We're both plowing. Um, we're appeasing Yahushua. We're held at a higher standard. We're going to be judged, which he's going to make more decisions with what he does with the Debar with us. And if we want more Debar, we've got to line up to his arrangements. But shalom to all everybody. Um, I'll be putting out some more videos today. Okay. Thank you.